everybody. Welcome back to Chad's Trains and Things and New Items Sunday. You can see this week I got a few more things on the table. New than what I had last week. Not a whole lot. Just little items picking up here and here. And something that has nothing to do with trains. But we'll get on that later. I just thought I'd show it off. Anyways, we'll start with what everybody probably knew was coming in if you watch my videos at all. Got some Woodland Scenics gray ballast. Fine. Ballast gray for the yard since I ran out working on the N-Scale yard. So I got this in so I can continue working on getting the yard back so I can start working on the buildings in front. So glad it came in. It came in a couple days ago and I've just been waiting for everything to film this. Those don't know, I just film everything on Saturday. So I wait, anything that comes in, I wait till after I shop or everything mail's done on Saturday for I film just to make sure I get all new items in for it for Sunday's video. But yeah, get the fine ballast from Woodland Scenics. I use a lot of Woodland Scenics products if you haven't noticed. At Michael's, I picked up a paint tray. The plastic one I always use was starting to fall apart because it's older. So I went ahead and picked one of these. I think it was like $2 for this at Michael's. So I grabbed it. This new paint trim. Something comes in handy for mixing paint, getting some watered down paint and everything else. Just needed it. Also today at Michael's, I picked up this Art Mines. It's that same company that makes the trees, which you can see there, that I've been buying. The Blue Waterscape. It's basically blue, blue colored water that they make. I'm gonna try this in the swimming pool on those scale layout and see what happens. Either it turns out great, it turns out bad. One way or the other, we're gonna find out and I'm gonna take you along with me on the journey to see what happens with it on one of those scale updates. But I figure it's probably gonna be almost identical to the Woodland Scenics realistic water. That's gonna be my guess. And I'm using, if I like it and it ain't enough, I'll go back and buy another container of it to finish the pool. But yeah, I figured I'd give it a try, just see what it would do. Kind of cool item. Also picked up some more trees, one pack anyway. Got, I haven't bought any of the kind of for trees yet from the, theirs, so I figured I'd buy one. I'm gonna use these on the O scale. They'll be shorter trees for O scale, but I got some places I want to use them as the glare is real bad. And unfortunately, my Michaels is out of trees, so I might have to venture off to a couple other Michaels see if they got the trees on sale still. And if they do, I'll buy them out too. Because I'm getting cheaper trees, I'm going to buy them. But, yeah. The final train-related item. Oh, you notice? No Legos. I said there's no new Legos out right now I'm wanting, so I'm not buying it. But the final train-related is the Dwarf Planets car for my Micro Trains Galaxy set came in. I'll try to zoom in. See a couple of them. And, of course, Pluto which has gone all over the place from being a planet and out of planet to uh, who knows what. But I'll try to get it here where maybe you can read. If you want to pause and read about Pluto, you can. Another car, it lights up. Get the end here with light. As far as I know for this set, Haley's Comet is the only car left to come, and it comes out next month. And I haven't been on Microtrain's page looking, and I'm not seeing any other cars for the set. So I believe Haley's Comet's going to be the last one. So next month when it comes in, I will get this whole train out, put it on the track. We'll look at the whole thing together. I'll light up all the cars and turn the lights off and see. I don't know how it'll turn out on the phone camera, but we'll see how that all turns out. Then I'll run it and film it a little bit of running the train. As y'all seen, the engine has got a decoder. And I'm kind of curious to see how the one engine pulls all these cars or if I need to try to find a second engine for it. You know, they only made one engine that had the same engine, but I need to find a second one just to make it work better. That's something I'm kind of curious to see too, but I haven't even messed with it since I didn't have all the cars yet and I was kind of waiting. So hopefully next month when the Haley's Comet car comes out, I'll get them all out and we'll do a review of the whole set. I think it's a neat set. I'm liking it a lot. The other side, both sides of the cars, if I never said this, are identical. So there's no difference in them, but yeah. Cool picture of Pluto on there. And for those that haven't seen too, and you'll see when I do that video, when you turn the light on, the only thing that lights up is this area right here on all of them. The actual picture of the planet or the sun or whatever, that's the only part that lights up. It's, they are really cool looking in person. I just don't know how it's gonna transfer over to video. So we'll see. Anyways, that's everything train related that I got. The other thing that I picked up, and I'm just throwing it in here because I can as I knock stuff over. Well, Walmart, I've seen this online and debating getting it. 
I found a board game, the Haunted Mansion Call of the Spirits game or whatever. The only reason I'm going to show this and bought it is, those who know, I'm a huge Disney fan, but I'm a monster Haunted Mansion fan at Disney. It's like my favorite attraction there, so I buy almost anything I see Haunted Mansion related. I got quite the Haunted Mansion area in my office. But since I bought it, it was going to be a shorter video because of the stuff I had. I figured I'd bring this. Show it off. Let y'all see it. Maybe it'd be something. It's got good reviews from people who have played it and everything. So I figured I'd use it for niece and nephews and cousins all come together. If we want to play a board game, just try it out. But it looks like it's fun. I just thought I'd show it off. Spread. Make this video just a little bit longer. It is from, those who know, Funko Games. So Funko makes this. And yep, I do got bunch of Funko Pops, including Haunted Mansion ones. Anyways, that's all I'm gonna do. I just wanna show that off, just to make the video a little longer. So I'll put everything kinda of back in here, maybe where you can see everything a little better. So that's gonna do it for this week's new item haul. Back up, get a, maybe a good screenshot there. As always, like the video, please like and subscribe. Hit that little notification bell if you wanna be notified anytime I upload a new video. Um, comment down below, I love hearing your comments. I always try to respond to the new comments I get. I love hearing from you. I want to thank everybody for coming and watching, as always. I appreciate everybody who does stop by. And that's going to do it for this, this week's new item episode. I'll see you next time.